Ketzel, the next time you want me to come to this dinner, send someone else to introduce me, because I can only spoil it after Eugene's introduction. Chagurim Sameach, happy Hanukkah to all of you. It's wonderful to be here tonight. It's the 36th dinner, and I'm absolutely sure that I know at least one Lamed Vavnik who is here with us in the crowd. Lamed Vav is obviously 36. And yeah, he deserves a round of applause. That's absolutely true. Dear honorees, distinguished members of Congress, dear friends, thank you for having me here tonight. It's so nice to celebrate the Pirsume Nisa, to recount the miracles that God has done for the Jewish people. A small band of people dedicated to the truth, the land of Israel, and the people of Israel who defeated much larger forces arrayed against them. A small jug of oil that fueled the great menorah for eight full days, exceeding all expectations. But that was by Yamim Ahem, those days, those times. What about Basman Hazeh? What about our days? I think that miracles around us these days are absolutely obvious. We just this year celebrated 70 years of the State of Israel. Seven decades of Jewish sovereignty in the land of Israel for the first time since Basman Azeh, since the Hasmoneans. And this year, with the vote on the nation state law, we began to define what it really means for Israel to be the one and only Jewish democratic state in the world. Now, to be quite honest, dear friends, for some reason, some people felt discomfort with this idea of defining Israel as a Jewish state in a basic law. So let's remind them of some history. 71 years ago, actually, just a couple of days ago, we celebrated, marked 71 years of what we call Kaftet Ben November. Not far away from here, Lake Success, just a few miles, when the UN voted to approve Resolution 181. Everyone is welcome to read the decision. About 30 times the definition, the words Jewish state, appeared there. Israel was the Jewish state even before it was born. <laughs> For some reason, by the way, tongue in cheek, I can ask, how come that in that very resolution, the partition plan, the words Palestinian state never appeared? I guess someone overlooked it. I am proud of my party, the Likud party, which heads the coalition that does so much for the land of Israel. From, the, from this stage, I would like to extend my support for our Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, who, God willing, will serve as our next Prime Minister as well. Netanyahu is the undisputed candidate of our party to head Israel in the upcoming elections. We will stand by him in our acknowledgement of his vast achievements on behalf of the State of Israel and the land of Israel. 
The Knesset passed important laws to strengthen our safeguards against terrorism, uphold our national dignity, and defend us from our enemies, whether they threaten us with missiles or with boycotts. Thousands of new housing units are being built throughout the country, including, thank God, Baruch Hashem, in Betel and nearby communities. But there is still much more to do. Above all, we need to finally extend Israeli sovereignty, Ribonut, to Judea and Samaria. <laughs> to Me'ale Adumim, a natural step that should have happened long ago. To Gush Etzion, where Jews lived before independence, and I have to admit, I myself lived for nearly 30 years. To Betel, with its history of Jacob's vision, and the centers of Torah study you know so well, and to the rest of Judea and Samaria, the Jewish and Israeli heartland. We owe this step to our brothers and sisters who live and work in these communities. It is our duty to support their pioneering spirit and love of the land of Israel, and we cannot continue treating them as second-class citizens in many aspects. You, dear friends, play an important role in these efforts. You can raise this issue with Israeli elected officials when you're visiting. You can support different projects. And my message to you tonight is you are not alone in these efforts. I myself and many of my colleagues in the Knesset, many of the ministers in the Israeli government think the exact same. Ribonut, independence, sovereignty will eventually come to Judea and Samaria and many more houses will be built in order to reach the number we all dream about, a million Jews in Judea and Samaria. When I began learning Yahadut in Soviet Russia, I read stories of our forefathers. At that time, I could only dream of walking in their footsteps. But now, as an Israeli, I take these ancient paths myself on a regular basis. When I visit Beit El, the mayor points out where Jacob slept and dreamed of a ladder ascending to heaven. A couple of weeks ago, Parashat Chaye Sarah in Hebron, I can visit Abraham's family plot. And in Jerusalem, our modern and internal and united capital, you begin to sense how the city felt to David and Solomon. Because no matter how much you read, there is nothing like feeling the ancient holy ground beneath your own two feet. There is no better way to connect to the Tanakh than to literally follow in the footsteps of our heritage. Today, the spirit of Zionism is a vibrant force for good in the world. Not only because Israel is naturally, well, you know it so well, the major center of Torah study in Jerusalem, Betel, and countless other locations, but also because Israel is increasingly sought after for solutions to some of the world's greatest problems. In fact, just two weeks ago, nearly 50 parliamentarians from across Europe and Asia came to the Knesset to learn from us about sustainability, innovation, and parliamentary best practices. We have much to share, a fact that should make us all extremely proud. All, yes, we are proud, we can applaud. All these achievements are possible because of the support of friends such as you. You understand that the future of our people 
whether as rabbis, scientists, entrepreneurs, or members of Knesset, rests on the ancient foundations of the Torah. Your dedication to Eretz Israel, Am Israel, and Torah Israel inspires the young people, we saw some of them in that wonderful short video, who benefit from your generosity. I am confident that the foundation you provide will serve them well. They will adopt these values as their own, and they become upstanding members of society. They are the next generation of Israeli and Jewish leaders. Your contribution is especially important in light of the challenges we face. As you all know, Israel exists in a complex region. We just learned it a couple of weeks ago when 500 missiles were fired by Hamas into the south of our country. In the north, I don't have to explain to you that the situation is even more complex. We have new neighbors all of a sudden. I learned geography. I know for a fact that Israel doesn't have a border with Iran. But for some reason, Iran now has a border with Israel. We will deal with these challenges. And we are not alone in this fight. As I said to my colleague, we may say, the Speaker of the American Senate on Friday, Vice President Mike Pence, because of the support we are getting from the United States, because of the sanctions imposed on Iran, as we speak tonight, the Iranians have less funds to support all their proxies, Hezbollah and Hamas. The sanctions are working right now, not in the future. So all these self-proclaimed redeemers of the Middle East from the cancerous growth, as one of them defined us, should know we didn't win in all the wars to succumb before Hezbollah or Iran. I can personally tell you that I didn't overcome the KGB to succumb before Hamas. We will prevail. Miracles in our times, I can't sum up without telling you that not so long ago, what is 34 years in the Jewish history? Nothing, just a moment. 34 years ago, on that very day, Hanukkah Eve, I was brought up from the isolation cell in the midst of a hunger strike back into my regular cell in Buturka prison. The only reason for the prison guards to bring me back to the res regular cell was that taking into consideration the time difference, it's early morning now in Europe, that that early morning on the first day of Hanukkah, I had to stand trial. 34 years ago, at that time, I was taken out of the cell and brought to the assembling points where all the prisoners were assembled to be distributed to different courts. On that very day, the first day of Hanukkah, I stood a trial, a mock trial for several hours, and got my three years in prison. When the so-called judge asked me whether I had anything to say to the court, I said that the only thing I can say is that I believe that my God and my people will help me get to Israel. Oh, they did help me. I got to Israel three years later. And Israel is the country of unlimited opportunities. And we shall keep it this way. We shall keep the state of Israel Jewish. 
We shall keep the state of Israel democratic. We shall keep the state of Israel strong to defend itself against enemies. We shall keep the state of Israel attractive to all the Jews all around the world. And we shall always remember that we have friends in this country, around the world, Jews and non-Jews, who understand that miracles, like Hanukkah miracles, don't belong to distant past. Miracles are happening these days. We just have to open our eyes and see them happening. Hashem oz le'amo iten, Hashem ivarech et amo v'shalom.